Our lives are flooded with all kinds of information. Thanks to computer databases, we interact with information easily and seamlessly on a daily basis. Databases were used to organize information long before the computer age. This Sumerian tablet is an index of medical prescriptions, ship manifests, card catalogs, and product inventories are also databases. The computer allowed databases to be automated. Early computer databases followed a flat file model, a simple, consecutive list of records. But this format required that computers begin every search at the start of the list and search sequentially. This was a slow way to search and maintain large volumes of records. New, faster databases were needed that were expandable, reliable, and efficient. In the mid-1960s, IBM used a hierarchical model for their information management system, IMS. This tree-like structure with parent nodes pointing to child nodes was successfully used by NASA to manage drawings for the lunar lander. A more flexible network model was developed by GE's Charles Bachman. Now, child nodes could have multiple parents, but as the database got complicated, it was too hard to manage all those pointers. Ted Codd, a computer scientist at IBM, had a better idea. His relational database model, which he first proposed in 1970, organized a body of data into simple tables of related information. There were no pointers to maintain, because tables are connected only by having matching data fields. This made it easier to access, merge, and change data. C.J. Date, an IBM instructor and author, was convinced that the relational database was a better model. Codd and Date wrote papers, lectured, and debated its merits. But Codd's relational database competed with another IBM product, the profitable IMS. So IBM was slow to support the new idea. In 1973, Michael Stonebreaker's team at UC Berkeley used Codd's idea to create the Ingress Relational Database, making it freely available for a modest fee. Several companies used it as the basis for successful commercial products. It took until 1975 for IBM to produce an experimental relational database named System R. It used a structured query language developed by IBM's Don Chamberlain and Raymond Boyce to search and modify data. A young entrepreneur named Larry Ellison was also intrigued with Codd's ideas. In 1977, he put up $2,000 of his own money to start a software company with Bob Miner and Ed Oates. Their mission? Develop and sell the first commercially available relational database compatible with IBM System R. Their flagship product was Oracle, which shipped in 1979. The first version ran on mini computers, but by 1983, the company had rewritten it to run on many more computer systems, including IBM PCs and mainframes. Oracle quickly became profitable. In 1983, IBM finally released a full-fledged commercial relational database, DB2, for mainframes. But it was too late for IBM to dominate the mini-computer market, and Oracle was already selling to IBM's customers. Oracle had adopted Ted Codd's relational database concept early, when his own employer, IBM, wouldn't, and Oracle became one of the largest software companies in the world. Its success helped relational databases become the way much of our computer data is organized. Working, communicating, shopping, relaxing. Nearly everywhere we go, data is gathered, organized, and made accessible. In this age of information, a database is never far away.